Welcome to 5-Minute Chapters, the podcast where we summarize important writings on education and learning. I'm your host, Daniel Bowe, and in today's episode, we'll be discussing how to implement a powerful technique from Dr. Robert Marzano's book, The New Art and Science of Teaching. Chapter 2 of this book focuses on the importance of assessments in the teaching and learning process. Assessments play a crucial role in providing feedback to both students and teachers, guiding them towards advancing their understanding of content and improving instruction. Let's dive into the details and explore how to implement this technique in your classroom. First and foremost, transparency is key when it comes to assessments. Dr. Marzano introduces the concept of a proficiency scale, a 0 to 4 system that allows you to compare scores and provide a clear view of students' learning over time. By utilizing this scale, you can gather more accurate and useful information about your students' progress than the traditional practice of averaging test scores. To implement this technique, start by creating a proficiency scale that aligns with your curriculum and standards. Assign each level on the scale a clear description of what students should know and be able to do at that level. This will help you and your students understand their current proficiency and set achievable goals for improvement. Next, shift your perspective from assessment to measurement. Rather than viewing assessments as separate activities, see them as a continuous process of gathering information about students' performance. Scores from different types of assessments should be translated into scores on the proficiency scale, allowing you to gain explicit knowledge about what students know and don't know. Consider the various types of assessments available to you, such as tests, discussions, and student-generated assessments. Each assessment type may have its own specific format scores. For example, you might initially score content on a percentage basis, but remember that these scores should always be translated into scores on the proficiency scale. This measurement process ensures consistency and provides a comprehensive understanding of student progress. Response patterns in assessments also play a crucial role. Different types of knowledge and skills require different assessment formats. Multiple choice tests may be more suitable for assessing factual knowledge, while essays can better evaluate critical thinking skills. Utilize rubrics and clear guidelines to ensure fair and consistent scoring, regardless of the response pattern chosen. One innovative approach highlighted in the chapter is student-generated assessments. By allowing students to propose and execute their own assessments, you provide them with maximum flexibility and ownership over their learning. Encourage students to select assessment formats and forms that align with their interests and strengths, fostering a sense of autonomy and engagement. To summarize, assessments should be seen as a feedback mechanism for both students and teachers. By implementing transparency through the use of a proficiency scale, shifting to a measurement perspective, and utilizing various assessment types and response patterns, you can gather accurate information about student progress and guide their learning effectively. Remember, 5-Minute Chapters is here to provide you with concise summaries of valuable educational techniques. Implementing Dr. Marzano's assessment strategies will not only enhance your teaching, but also empower your students to reach their full potential. Stay tuned for our next episode. 5-Minute Chapters, because even teachers need cliff notes sometimes.